Thanks for watching windowcleaner.com. Hey, welcome back to Window Cleaning Resource. I'm Jordy, and today we're gonna do some storefront pricing. Let's check it out. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna break down uh, just four aspects of things to keep in mind when you're pricing storefronts. We're gonna talk about having a minimum. We're gonna talk about uh, maintenance schedule and price. We're gonna talk about your initial clean price. And then we're gonna talk about when it's a construction cleanup. So let's go to the store behind me. Let's actually start with the construction cleanup because we have a good example right behind us. Okay, so at first glance, it might look like it's not a big deal. But first of all, you're gonna be dealing with a higher degree of filth, especially on the inside. You may have to deal with scraping, um, extra scrubbing, and expect to have to do clean the windows at least twice, if not three times. That first one's gonna be a slop clean, second one's gonna be um, whatever you missed, and then that third one's gonna be your finished clean. But look, you'll have to deal with paint, you'll have to deal with silicone, uh, sheetrock dust, sawdust, fingerprints, tape, signage. Now these are brand new windows, but still, see that, all that you're gonna have to deal with? You're gonna want bronze wool, you're gonna want steel wool, you're gonna want magic erasers, you're gonna have want a brand new blade on your scraper because this stuff is gonna take, take you longer to clean. Can you see that dirt up there? Don't expect to be able to clean this with just one pass, at least two. And you're gonna have, uh, it's probably gonna take you three times as long as it would on a maintenance clean. So price it accordingly. If you would price something like this out for a maintenance clean at 45, your initial clean should be somewhere around 130, 130, 140, 150 for, you, for the initial clean. And remember, there's no guarantees that they're gonna sign up for a maintenance program. Here's another uh, construction cleanup. That paint, it looks like paint, paint overspray, or it could be sheetrock dust or ceiling tile dust when they cut the ceiling tiles. So if you would price something like this out at $199 for the initial clean, you should be up somewhere around th uh, $199, two or three times that. $199 is $200, so you should be up around three, four, five, six hundred dollars for the initial clean. You can see here too, uh, that's just an added degree of difficulty. So that's an example of initial cleans uh, for storefront. Whatever your normal price for maintenance would be, double or triple it, because it's gonna take you two or three times as long. Okay, uh, so that is pricing for construction cleanups. Whatever your price for maintenance would be, or even what your price for a regular initial clean would be, double or triple it, because it's gonna be two or three times longer for you to clean, it's gonna take you that. Those minimums are important because they help keep your profit margins up. So don't um, dismiss the value of a minimum. Let's talk a little bit also about initial clean prices. Your initial clean prices should be higher than your maintenance price. So if it's a small storefront, add $5. If it's a medium storefront, add $10. If it's a larger storefront, you might add $25 or more. If it's a really super big one, you add $50, you add $100 to the, to the initial clean. If you're dealing with a huge uh, amount of glass. And then you want to remember to have, give them a maintenance price and a schedule and a scope. 
So maybe the initial clean you do inside and out, but you realize that they don't really need inside and out done every single time. And maybe they have a lot of stuff that you have to move, which is gonna take more time. You don't feel like dealing with it. So you do the initial clean, let's say for uh, $99 inside and out, but you just do the outside and their doors every other week for 55. Okay, so speaking about maintenance pricing, you always want to remember three things, and we've discussed this before. Price, scope, schedule. So <clears throat> if your minimums are $10 outside, $10 inside for a small storefront, uh, that's 20 bucks. You want that at an every other week schedule. If they say, let's do it once a month, maybe you add $5. You say, okay, it's $25 for once a month. And then you want to add a little bit more for the initial clean. So maybe add five more to make it $30. So it's $30 for the initial clean. And then it's $20 every other week after that. Okay, well, let's do once a month. Okay, it'll be $25. See, that's it's that simple. So always remember price scope schedule. And when it comes to the maintenance, um, if they balk at the price, you can reduce the scope. So let's say you give them a price for inside and out, they don't like the price. You say, well, I mean, if what do you wanna pay? Okay, well that will get you just the outside or that'll get you the outside and the door at this schedule. It's tricky, it is tricky. And even the most experienced people are gonna still, it's gonna, you know, things speed up on you pretty quickly. And you can walk away from it saying, hmm, did I did I under, underbid it? Or if you lost the bid, was I too expensive? You know, you go through that. But <clears throat> uh, if you remember that you're not just negotiating on price, you're negotiating on scope and schedule, then uh, it can help you to close the sale. They might say, oh, uh, so let's see, $20 inside and out every other week, so what's that, that's gonna be like 40 bucks a month? Yeah, uh, that's a little bit much. All right, well, if you wanted to do once a month, we could do inside and out for 30 bucks. Um, I don't know, let me think about it, okay. Well, what would, what would you be, be comfortable paying at once a month, like 25? Yeah, I can do 25. 25 once a month inside and out, you got it. Done, sold. All right, and you're still within your price, your pricing structure, okay? So those are some thoughts on maintenance. Um, have, ha, keep, stick to your minimums, add price as they decrease schedule, and also at, price a little bit more for the initial clean. All righty. Well, I'm home and it's the end of the day, but those were four things to keep in mind when you're pricing out your storefronts. And so I hope that was helpful to you. I wanna thank you for joining me and uh, tune in every week for new content here on Window Clean Resources YouTube channel. We have a number of creators, all with their own unique style and information all to benefit you and to help you in your business. So until the next video, I wanna thank you for spending some time with me. I'm Jordy from The Window Cleanse. Have a great day in your business, and we'll talk soon.